If you're looking for beefy single coil pickups, look no further than the Leo Sound Munich 77 set. Full disclosure, Mihail was kind enough to hook me up with a little discount, so I did not pay full price for these pickups, but it wouldn't stop me from critiquing it if I felt so. But I don't, because these are actually awesome pickups. I really love them. The main reason I do is that they are powerful, but they still have that single coil spank or twang in them, unlike the Seymour Duncan SSL 4s, which I honestly don't really like. As you probably guessed, these pickups were created to replicate the sound of the pickups Blackmore used in his Sunburst Strat on the 1977 Rainbow DVD recorded in Munich, Germany. At that time, Blackmore really had a powerful, strong, aggressive sound, and some of it was the really overwhelmed pickups. The bridge pickup in this set is around 10k, so that's really powerful. But as I said, it still has that single coil spank or twang that is an integral part of the sound that you can hear on the DVD. When you're buying the Munich 77 pickups from Leo Sounds, you have the option of just buying a neck and a bridge pickup, or you can buy a middle pickup, which is a dummy coil. But it's quite different than the dummy coil Fender gives you stock with the Blackmore Signature Strat. Because Fender basically just give you an empty shell. That's just empty plastic. It doesn't really do anything. It does nothing. But the one you buy from Leo Sounds is, is a dummy coil that if you wire in together with the other two pickups will help you reduce some noise. I'm not sure if you can see because I didn't take this pickup apart, but it seems to me that there is wiring under this cloth here and maybe probably even a magnet, but there are no pull pieces, that much is apparent. So again, using this, contrary to the dummy fender gives you, will help you reduce hum or should help you reduce hum. But uh, at the time I am shooting this, you can see I haven't finished putting the, the, the pig guard together, so I don't know, but by the time you're watching this, I know and I'll tell you right now. I think the noise reduction and the difference between the three pickups were audible. The Black Strat with Custom Shop 69 regular single coil pickups had a bit more noise than the Leo Sound Munich set with the dummy coil. So it works, it, the dummy coil does reduce some hum, but it's not as quiet as a full humbucker. If you ask me, it's already helpful in your rig with a single coil guitar, even though we are not playing under an electric rainbow with 3000 light bulbs in there like Blackmore did. But I think these pickups are two for two in a sense that they do reduce some hum and they do help you sound like Blackmore on the 77 record or, or DVD or album or video or whatever. But obviously pickups are just one factor. They are important as well, but you have to get your rig <clears throat> ready for that sound. So pickups alone won't get you there. I think that much is obvious, but let me reinforce that. So what I'm using in this video is a Marshall Studio Vintage 20 head, which is basically like a 20 watt uh, super lead, 1959 super lead. And, and the reason I'm using that, not my, not my custom Blackmore, is I wanted a stock Marshall so I can prove to people that, that you can buy a Marshall, these pickups and be a sample and get very close to the sound. And I think I did. So the third element of the sound is the BSM uh, Galaxy Galaxy 10 11, which is the IWA preamp pedal that gives you the sound of uh, the drive Blackboard got from his IWA tape machine. That is also very important. So I think these three things are sort of the, the, the main equation or main parts of the equation. And these pickups are really <clears throat> integral part of that.
And just like on Blackmore's guitars, there's one more little secret hidden behind the scratch plate of this guitar, and it is the BSM Spice Box, which is of course the reproduction of the MTC, the Master Tone Circuit built by Dog, one of Blackmore's guitar tech, which is basically like a treble bleed circuit. So if you turn down the volume pot, it helps you retain the high and the top end, so the sound doesn't get warm or muddy or dull and it works amazingly. I did have a Fender factory treble bit circuit in one of my Highway 1 strats and it was nowhere near the Spice Box. So it sounds amazing. You can hear it a lot uh, on live shows that Blackmore turns down the volume and uh, the sound remains crisp and that is because of the Spice Box. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think it sounds great. I love the Spice Box and I really like the pickups as well. But as always, I want to hear your opinion, so leave that in the comment section. Let me know if you want to get or try one of them. And basically, thank you for watching as usually.